In some of the past videos, we had dealt with um, basic properties of inductance and simple inductor resistor circuits. One of the equations that we had derived was for the current associated with an inductor. And we had this equation. We have e to the minus time times r over l. And then for capacitance, uh, video 61 through 67, uh, one of the equations that we derived was, for example, the charging current, where we have some initial current. We have e to the minus t divided by rc. And in some of the past videos, we said that r times c actually gives us a, uh, uh, a unit of time measurement. But we never really gave a complete explanation for that. So we thought we'd just take a couple of minutes and do that in this video, and also take a look at the case with inductance as well. So some of the basic equations, V equals I times R, and the charge on a capacitor, that's its capacitance in farads, times V. So if we have R times C, R is V divided by I, C, that's Q divided by V. So these cancel, and we have charge divided by I, the current, but current is charge per unit of time. So this comes out to equal 1. 1 over time. So this just gives us some expression of time. And that could be in seconds or microseconds, whatever, depending upon these values. But anyway, there's a justification, at least, as to why resistance times capacitance gives us a, uh, a time unit. Now, what about with inductance? Here we have this, one of our equations that we had derived earlier. Or this part, we could express it as e to the minus. Then we have t divided by l divided by r. And let's see now, l. Well, the voltage across a uh, an inductor VL, that equals L di dt. And of course, in general, V equals I times R. So L, that equals VL divided by di dt. And we're working now with this expression, L divided by R. And we're saying that this will also give us um, some, some unit of time. Well, L is VL divided by di dt. So we have V and we have R. So we have R di dt. L is just VL divided by di dt. So here's L divided by R. And let's just look at this as this is voltage divided by resistance. That's going to be current, or that would just be, say, some kind of amperage. Then here we have di dt. These are differentials, but again, this is current. So that's going to involve amperage. And then we have dt. Again, uh, that's a time differential. But again, it's going to be some sort of, we're dealing with time. So this equals 
1 over, I don't see 1 over time. So again, it gives us some sort of time, some sort of unit of time. L divided by R. So hopefully we've given at least a basic insight as to why R times C can get of a unit of time and likewise L divided by R can also yield a unit of time and in fact these are called the time constants and we'll talk more about them uh, when we get into alternating currents. So that's all I wanted to explain for this video. Um, I think in the next video we'll give a kind of a brief introduction to phasers and then that'll probably be video number 68 and then after that we can talk about um, induct or not inductance but impedance and reactance and alternating currents so that's what we'll be doing for some of the future videos